Hi, I'm Rob Chambers. I'm here at Connected Britain with Catherine Collins, the MD of Corporate Affairs at Openreach. Hello, Catherine. Hi. Hi. So, earlier today you were on a panel and you were discussing ubiquitous connectivity. So, um, what do you see as the biggest barriers to making that happen in the UK? So, I think we talked a lot about the current macroeconomic climate because we're not immune as an industry to what we're seeing in terms of rising costs, inflation, cost of living prices. So, to be honest, that's predominantly what we talked about in terms of how we're going to get to the, in particular, 85% target and then beyond. I think the good thing is we all feel quite positive about where we are as an industry. The build is going incredibly well. You know, we are still ramping to our 4 million per annum target build. We're building 60,000 premises a week at the moment, but it is tough. Um, and so we talked a lot about how can we work as an industry collaboratively to bring some of those costs down. So we had a couple of um, suppliers, um, sort of fibre fiber suppliers on the panel. We talked a lot about innovation, so how innovation can bring down those costs, be it in the products themselves or also uh, we had another Altnet builder on the panel and we were talking about civils work, polling work, how we can actually drive down the cost and efficiency in builds. Uh, so there's lots that we can do as an industry, but there's also stuff we need from government potentially, which will strip out some of those barriers and strip out the red tape and make it easier and faster for us to build. So in your opinion, there's lots of things you've mentioned in there, but in your opinion, what are the most important single things that you need to see happen? So I think the biggest thing is frankly about ourselves as an industry and a business and our own operations. So one of the absolute pivotal things for us are the partnerships that we have with either subcontractors in the build space or sort of build provision civil space, but also the partnerships that we have with suppliers. And we've worked incredibly closely to diversify that supply chain to work with suppliers on bringing costs down. And actually we've done a lot with our partners in build and in provision to ensure that we have an improved working relationship, we're being more efficient collectively in how and where we build. So I think there's a big chunk about what we can do. The other chunk, as I mentioned, is that this is tough and not going to get any easier and we can't do all of it alone. And we've been talking as an industry for years now about those kind of red tape, basic, efficient build barriers, which government are the only people who can really help us with. So it's things like way leaves. So we talked on the panel about access to MDU still being a real problem. I'm concerned when you think about ubiquitous coverage of how we're going to fibre rural Britain. We're finding we need one way leaf for every 15 premises in the ultra rural R100 Scotland programme. So we need access to poles. Ideally things like flexi permits which would allow us to build more efficiently. But actually from an investment perspective that is potentially at risk if you think about the macro climate. So we really need an extension of the super deductor from government. So with the, with the panel you were on and with conversations you've had around the event here today, um, what do you, what's your biggest takeaway? I think my biggest takeaway is the sense of positivity. So I think you know coming out of the last 10 days or so, which has been a shock to the country, that itself set against the backdrop of a cost of living crisis where people are going into winter incredibly worried about their energy costs and about their bills. There is a sense out there and in the media, quite rightly, of concern and of worry about the economy. Interestingly, talking about that in here, it doesn't seem to be affecting our ambitions as an industry and our ambitions both to build the network in the best quality FTTP networks and get people onto the network. So the big takeaway I have from hearing people today and being on the panel is that real commitment to those build targets and those take-up targets and the positivity we have as an industry that will weather it and overcome it. What a fantastic place to take it then. So thank you very much. Thanks.